Hello and welcome. Welcome to learning session number two of chapter number six of algebra, which is statistics. Okay. So in the last learning session, we had uh, learned about mean, right? What was mean? Uh, it is a number which takes into account all the numbers given in the data and gives the average value. How do you find average? If this is your data, uh, what do you do to find mean? You add all of them and divide by the number you have added. You have nine numbers, right? Nine numbers ko add kiya. Isle nine se divide kar liya. And the number which you get is mean, right? So these were the steps to build skills for finding mean. Okay, or iske teen teen uh, methods hai. First is direct method. Second is step deviation method. Third is assumed assumed mean method. Okay, but step deviation method and assumed mean method have been uh, omitted from your syllabus due to the lockdown. So you only have to uh, learn direct method. So these are the steps for finding mean using direct method if you are given a question. So for a question given of this type, you will you can use direct method of <coughs> finding mean. Okay. So let us quickly revise what were the steps. Firstly, you make these four columns. Okay, class, class mark, frequency, and frequency into class mark. Class to question me diya hota, right? Yahan pe jo time hai, that is that itself is your class. तो यहाँ पे जो हॉरिजॉन्टली लिखा है उसी को यहाँ पे वर्टिकली लिखना सिमिलरली फ्रीक्वेंसी इज योर नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स ये भी हमेशा क्वेश्चन में दे दिया होता है सो नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स यहाँ पे जो हॉरिजॉन्टली लिखा है उसको यहाँ पे वर्टिकली लिख दो देन टू एडिशनल कॉलम्स ऑन क्लास मार्क एंड फ्रीक्वेंसी इन क्लास मार्क वट इज क्लास मार्क बेसिकली ये जो क्लास uh, है उन दोनों का जो लेफ्ट साइड वाला जो नंबर है दैट इज योर लोअर लिमिट राइट साइड का जो नंबर होता है वो अपर लिमिट ओके लोअर क्लास लिमिट एंड अपर क्लास लिमिट उन दोनों को एड करना डिवाइड बाई टू करना है फोर प्लस टू इज सिक्स डिवाइड बाई टू इज थ्री फोर प्लस एक्स वन है ये एक्स टू है ये एक्स थ्री ये एक्स फोर एक्स फाइव सो वन एंड सो फोर्थ तो सबको साथ में एक्स आई बोल देते हैं ओके फ्रीक्वेंसी तो क्वेश्चन में दिया था फ्रीक्वेंसी इंटू क्लास मार्क के लिए इन दोनों को मल्टीप्लाई करना है वन इंटू सेवन थ्री इंटू एटीन सो वन एंड सो फोर्थ Then the next step is to find summation fi. Summation यानी सबको add करना है, okay? तो जितने भी fi है, f1, f2, f3, उन सबको add करना है, summation fi मिल जाएगा. फिर summation fi into xi. इन दोनों को multiply करके यहाँ पे जो लिखा हम लोग ने, उनको add कर दो. So तुम्हें summation fi मिल गया, और summation fi xi मिल गया. तो बस अभी mean का formula use करो. Mean का formula क्या है? Summation fi xi divided by summation fi. तो तुम्हें final answer मिल जाएगा. जिस तरीके से क्वेश्चन पूछा उसी तरीके से तुम्हें स्टेटमेंट में आंसर लिखना है एंड यू हैव टू बॉक्स इट अप इन पेंसिल दैट वाज अ क्विक रिवीजन ऑफ हाउ डू यू फाइंड मीन यूजिंग डायरेक्ट मेथड ओके द ऑब्जेक्टिव फॉर टुडे इज गोइंग टू बी स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू फाइंड मीडियन मीन फाइंड आउट कर लिया अभी मीडियन फाइंड आउट करना ओके व्हाट इज मीडियन व्हेन यू अरेंज डेटा इन असेंडिंग और डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर द नंबर इन द डेटा विच इज एट द सेंटर इज कॉल्ड मीडियन फॉर एग्जांपल अगर ये तुम्हारा डेटा है इसको असेंडिंग एंड डिसेंडिंग में अरेंज कर दो मैंने असेंडिंग में अरेंज कर दिया सो so, बीच का नंबर यहाँ पे इसके लेफ्ट साइड में चार नंबर है और इसके राइट साइड में चार नंबर है यानी ये सेंटर का नंबर है राइट सो द सेंट्रल नंबर इज मीडियन ओके सो मीडियन के लिए अगर हमें ऐसा डेटा दे दिया ओके okay, ऐसा डेटा और जिस डेटा का हमें मीडियन फाइंड आउट करने बोला देन हाउ यू विल फाइंड देन ओके बिफोर वी एक्चुअली गो ऑन टू द स्टेप्स टू बिल्ड स्किल्स फॉर फाइंडिंग मीडियन वॉट यू नीड टू नो इज वॉट इज अ कंटिन्यूस क्लास ओके so for example this is an example of class 1 to 3 3 to 7 9 to 11 but a continuous class nahi hai why is this not a continuous class because yahan pe 3 pe end ho raha hai but yahan pe 5 se chalu ho raha hai to 4 kahan pe gaya 4 gayab ho gaya okay so 3 se leke 5 ke beech mein jo kuch bhi numbers hai wo is kahin pe bhi nahi hai similarly yahan pe 7 se end ho gaya aur yahan pe 9 se shuru ho gaya to 7 aur 9 ke beech mein jo numbers hai usko jaane ke liye kahin pe bhi jagah nahi hai whereas tum yahan pe dekho यहाँ पे फोर से एंड हो गया यहाँ पे फोर से शुरू हो गया यहाँ पे एट से एंड हो गया यहाँ पे एट से शुरू हो गया सो दिस इज नोन एज अ कंटिन्यूस क्लास दिस इज नॉट अ कंटिन्यूस क्लास ओके सो ऊपर वाला जो अपर लिमिट है और नीचे वाला जो लोअर लिमिट है दोनों सेम होंगे तो उसको कंटिन्यूस क्लास बोलेंगे अगर दोनों सेम नहीं होंगे तो उसको कंटिन्यूस क्लास नहीं बोलेंगे यहाँ पे इसका अपर लिमिट और नीचे वाले का लोअर लिमिट सेम है राइट सिमिलरली यहाँ पे इसका अपर लिमिट नीचे का लोअर लिमिट सेम है सो दिस अंटिन्यूस क्लास सो यू नीड टू नो वॉट इज अ कंटिन्यूस क्लास बिकॉज स्टेप्स टू बिल्ड स्किल्स फॉर मीडियम में कंटिन्यूस क्लास का मतलब पता होना चाहिए ओके सो दीज आर द स्टेप्स टू बिल्ड स्किल्स फॉर फाइंडिंग अ मीडियम ओके काइंडली कॉपी ऑल दी स्टेप्स इन योर नोटबुक्स एंड आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू दीज स्टेप्स राइट नाउ वॉट वी गोइंग टू डू इज यू गोइंग टू सॉल्व अ फ्यू सम्स एंड 
through the sums you are going to understand how to use this steps okay so with that we are ready to solve practice set 6.2 questions okay so what we are going to do is uh, i will solve the first one for you all then you all will we, we bo both of us will together solve second question and fourth question you all can solve by yourself uh, as practice okay third question we'll do some other time in the next video we are only going to cover three sums today so the first sum i am going to teach you completely pehla sum jab tak main explain kar raha hu all you have to do is put your pens down pencils down notebooks down and only pay attention to the video okay only pay attention how i am solving the first sum then next sum we will solve together okay i will give you some time you will solve one step by step and in between those steps you will check your answers uh, with whatever i am sharing with you all okay so second question we will solve together uh, and fourth question you will solve by yourself third question we will solve later okay so now we can start solving the first question so what does first question ask the following table shows classification of number of workers and number of hours they work in a software company ek software company hai to roz har employee kitne ghante kaam kar raha hai ek worker kitna ghanta kaam kar raha hai uska data diya okay find the median of the number of hours they work okay these are the daily number of hours 8 se 10 ghante 10 se 12 ghante 12 se 14 ghante 14 se 16 ghante aur kitne workers utna kaam kar rahe so 150 workers 150 workers work between 8 to 10 hours daily 500 workers work between 8 10 to 12 hours daily so on and so forth okay what is our first step make two columns class and frequency in dono ka column banana hai and both of them are given in the question okay so yahan pe jo daily number of hours tha that is your class and number of workers tha that is your frequency again yahan pe maine fi likha hai why fi this is your f1 this is your f2 f3 f4 so sabko sath mein likhne ke liye fi likh diya okay so we have done we are done with the first step yahan pe jo likha tha wahi same yahan pe vertically likha yahan pe jo horizontally likha tha yahan pe vertically likh diya okay so we are done with step number 1 now we are moving on to step number 2 Make the classes continuous if they are not continuous. Okay, so let's check. ये continuous है क्या? ऊपर का upper limit 10 है, नीचे का lower limit 10 है. So बीच में कोई gap नहीं. यहाँ पे भी ऊपर का upper limit 12, नीचे का lower limit 12. यहाँ पे भी कोई gap नहीं. यहाँ पे भी 14, यहाँ पे भी same number 14. तो ये already continuous है. So हमें इसको continuous बनाने की ज़रूरत नहीं है. So second step is also taken care of. Okay? Already continuous थे तो उनको continuous नहीं बनाना पड़ा. Next. find less than type cumulative frequency i don't know how many of you all remember this is again from 9th standard syllabus cumulative frequency kaise find out karte do type ke hote hai less than type more than type so we are going to learn how to find cumulative frequency which is less than type okay so first step kya hota hai ek naya column bana lo cumulative frequency aur likh do ye less than type cumulative frequency hai and then write the first number as it is okay frequency ka jo first number hai usko waise ke waise likho So here they had written 150. I have written the same number 150. Here. Next step, add 150 to the next frequency. Okay, 150 you will add to the next frequency. So 500 plus 150. 500 plus 150. कितना हो जाएगा? 650. Again do the same thing. Add 650 to the next frequency. So 650 plus 300. क्या हो जाएगा? 950. Again last step 950 plus next frequency. So 950 plus 50 कितना हो गया? Thousand. I'm going to repeat that for you all. Okay. Cumulative frequency. How to find out? Karna less than type. Wala. One new column. Bana do. And in column, me first frequency. Vaise ke vaise likh do. Okay. Wo likhne ke baad usko next frequency se add karna hai. Five hundred plus one fifty. So ho jayega six fifty. Six fifty plus three hundred. Ho jayega nine fifty. Nine fifty plus fifty will become thousand. Okay. That's how you find cumulative frequency, which is less than type. So we are also done with our step number three. Now step number four, find summation of frequency f i. और उसको हम लोग n बोल देंगे. Okay. So here is your summation of f i. So summation of f i अलग से करने की जरूरत नहीं है. What is summation of f i? इन सब को add करके summation of f i आ जाता है. But that will always be equal to the last number over here. So you can also cross check. इन सारे numbers को add करके देखो. यहाँ पे जो last number आया, same number आना चाहिए. If the numbers are not matching, इन सब को add करके जो number आ रहा है. and the last number that you get here if both of them are not same it means you have made some silly mistake somewhere in the calculation so then you have to check your calculation again okay and if you are very confident ki tumhari calculation ekdam perfect hai to tum log directly ye number ko yahan pe copy kar sakte ho but if you want to cross check i would say add these numbers and cross check okay so summation fi we have found aur yahi tum log ka capital n ho jayega summation fi is equal to capital n 
okay so we are also done with uh, step number 4 now next step is calculate n divided by 2 capital n divided by 2 so n kya tha summation fi so n summation fi total frequency is summation fi summation any sabko add karke jo number milta hai okay so summation fi was equal to n is equal to 1000 ye hame yaha pe mil gaya tha right then you have to find n divided by 2 so n divided by 2 will be 1000 divided by 2 okay n 1000 tha so 1000 divided by 2 is 500 so n by 2 hame mil gaya 500 okay so we are also done with step number 5 now sixth step is the most important step okay make sure you are paying attention with full focus okay sixth step is the most important step when sixth step tum logo acche se karna aa gaya this uh, sum of finding mean will be very easy for you okay so just make sure you are fine you are paying uh, attention while i am doing this sixth uh, sixth step okay kya hai sixth step mark cf cf ka full form kya hai cumulative frequency f f ka full form kya hai frequency and median class uh, in the table usko mark karna hai table mein and find capital l and h what is capital l lower class limit and h is height of the class okay we'll see wo kaise find out karna so cumulative frequency cf frequency f median class dhoondna hai l or h dhoondna hai kaise dhoondoge look here we have found n by 2 as 500 okay to abhi step kya hai cf f wagera dhoondna right so 500 ko dimag mein rakho keep 500 in your mind and now start uh, looking at cumulative frequency 150 is 150 smaller than 500 or uh, bigger than 500 smaller so you will move ahead okay next 650 is 650 smaller than 500 or larger than 500 it is more than 500 right so uske left mein jo hoga that will be your f uske left mein jo hoga that will be your median class or iske upar jo hoga that will be your cumulative frequency okay i'm going to do this again you have to pay attention main kaise kar raha last step what did we do we found n by 2 right n by 2 hame kya mila tha okay let, i'm waiting for the pointer to come back yes okay so n by 2 hame kya mila tha n by 2 we had got as 500 right so you will keep 500 in your mind and go to cumulative frequency wala table so cumulative frequency mein first number is 150 so 150 500 se chota hai so i'm going to move it jab tak mujhe 500 se bada number nahi milta n by 2 se bada number nahi milta i'll keep moving down okay so 150 is smaller than 500 i'm going to move ahead next 650 650 is larger than 500 to mil gaya mujhe okay usse bada number chahiye tha mujhe 500 se mil gaya so 650 again i'm going to wait for that pointer to come back okay so 650 mujhe mil gaya right wo 500 se bada hai so 650 ke jo left side mein that will be my frequency aur uske left mein jo hoga wo median class okay 650 ke left mein frequency uske left mein median class aur uske upar wala jo hoga cumulative frequency wale column mein that will be my cumulative frequency okay next you just write this down okay right mein yahan pe likh do median class kya hai 10 to 12 so median class is 10 to 12 now what is l lower class limit of median class so median class 10 to 12 hai to uska lower limit kya hai 10 so l equal to 10 likh do yani basically median class mein se jo chota number hota hai wo hamesha l hoga okay then f f kya tha 500 so that i have written it here cumulative frequency 150 that also i have written here and again h h is the height of the class height of the class kaise milega median class ke numbers ko subtract kar do 12 minus 10 12 minus 10 is 2 to height 2 ho gaya okay so this is how this was our sixth step cumulative frequency frequency median class lower limit of median class and height of median class ye sare cheeze hum log ne find out karke likh diya okay this is the most important step if you can do the step number 6 very well you should find this sum very easy okay next use the formula to find median median ka formula yahan pe diya hai yahan pe diya hai you have to use this formula to find the median okay this is now very simple right this is just calculations you know the formula then you substitute the values l ke jagah pe 10 likh diya hai yahan pe then n by 2 n by 2 was 500 so yahan pe 500 aa gaya cf cf was 150 so 150 yahan pe aa gaya beech mein minus sign f f kya tha f was 500 so usko denominator mein likh diya and h h is 2 so now just uh, solve this 500 minus 150 350 ho jayega 350 divided by 500 multiplied by 2 so um, after calculations you will see that the answer is coming as 11.7 okay so we are also done with point uh, step number 7 use the formula we have used the formula we have found the median final final step kya 
write the final answer in pencil box so we need to see the question again find the median of the number of hours they work okay so kaise likhoge the median of the number of hours the median number of hours they work is the median number of hours the workers work is 11.4 hours ye hours se kaise pata chala kyunki question mein diya tha itne ghante hai right the class was number of hours so i know this is hours so the median number of hours the workers work is 11.4 hours okay so we are done with question number 1 of this particular exercise this is generally asked for 3 marks okay 3 marks ke liye kafi easy sum hai it might look bahut bada hai bahut zyada calculations hai bahut sare steps hai but once you practice three four sums by yourself it seems very easy statistics again probability statistics both these chapters are very scoring okay iske upar kabhi bhi koi sum leave nahi karna hota board exam mein if you practice a few sums in uh, mean median mode they are very easy to solve bas wo steps ko yaad karna hai aur wo bhi apne aap yaad ho jate hai the more you practice okay isme is difficult part kya tha writing cf f and median class wo kaise likhna hai once you find n by 2 n by 2 ko fir baad mein चेक कर लें क्यूमलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी वाले कॉलम में जब तक टिल द टाइम यू गेट एन बाई टू टिल द टाइम यू गेट अंबर ग्रेटर देन एन बाई टू यू टू कीप मूविंग डाउन एन बाई टू से छोटा है छोड़ो एन बाई टू से बड़ा मिल गया so, उसके लेफ्ट वाला एफ उसके लेफ्ट वाला मीडियम प्लस उसके ऊपर वाला सी एफ ये स्टेप अगर अच्छे से कर पाओगे एवरीथिंग एल्स इज वेरी सिंपल ओके सो नाउ वट वी गोन डू इज यू आर गोन टू सोल्व द सेकेंड सम एंड आई एम गोन टू हेल्प यू इन बिटवीन हाउ इज दैट गोन टू वर्क वेल टेल यू कहाँ कहाँ तक सोल्व करना है and you will solve till there and then you can check it okay so make sure you are ready with your notebooks and pens you all will need your notebooks and pens to solve this by yourself unless and until you solve this by yourself tum logo ko confidence nahi aayega khud se solve karne ke liye karne ke liye okay so make sure you are solving this with me don't copy it at the end okay ab bhi se agar tum logo ko mistakes pata chal gaye then it won't be it won't uh, repeat itself afterwards okay so question number 2 i'm going to read uh, keep your notebooks and pens ready The frequency distribution table shows the number of mango trees in a grove, in a grove, and their yield of mangoes. Okay, so basically, a mango ke pedo ka bagicha. Okay, or usme mango ke trees uh, are growing. So, kya diya hume number of mangoes? Fifty to hundred, hundred to one fifty, one fifty to two hundred, so on and so forth. And number of trees. Okay, so thirty-three trees pe. 50 से लेके 100 के बीच में मैंगोज लगते हैं 30 ट्रीज में 100 से लेके 150 के बीच में मैंगोज लगते हैं 90 ट्रीज में 150 टू 200 नंबर ऑफ मैंगोज कम ओके दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस डेटा ओके सो व्हाट इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप राइट द क्लास एंड फ्रीक्वेंसी देन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज फाइंड द क्यूमुलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड देन फाइंड समेशन ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी सो डू दीज फोर स्टेप्स फर्स्ट ओके डोंट कंप्लीट द एंटायर सम डू दीज फोर स्टेप फर्स्ट फर्स्ट स्टेप क्या है make two columns class and frequency then you find cumulative frequency and then you find summation of fi okay i'm waiting i'll wait for 5 seconds uh, you all will pause the video and do these four steps first okay i'll wait for 5 seconds okay i hope you pause the video and have done the four steps okay now we will check our answers and you can rectify or you can correct whatever uh, wherever you have made mistakes okay so first you will make these two columns class class mein kya aayega number of mangoes trees uh, number of trees will be your frequency wo tumhara fi bhi hai okay to yahan pe jo horizontally likha tha usi ko vertically copy kar diya yahan pe jo horizontally likha tha usi ko vertically copy kar liya the second step is to make this cumulative so to make this continuous class if it is not continuous if is this continuous class yahan pe bhi 100 yahan pe bhi 100 यहाँ पे भी 150 फिफ्टी यहाँ पे भी वन फिफ्टी इट मीन इट इज कंटिन्यूस सो इट इज ऑलरेडी कंटिन्यूस क्लास सो आई डोंट हैव टू कन्वर्ट इट इन टू कंटिन्यूस क्लास ओके सो सेकंड स्टेप इज ऑल्सो डन थर्ड स्टेप इज फाइंडिंग क्यूमुलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी सो चेक हैव यू फाउंड द करेक्ट क्यूमुलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी और नॉट ओके लास्ट में 250 फिफ्टी आना चाहिए लास्ट में अगर टू फिफ्टी नहीं है यानी तुम लोगों ने कहीं पे तो कैलकुलेशन मिस्टेक किए हाउ आई फाउंड क्यूमुलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी फर्स्ट नंबर को वैसे के वैसे लिख दो थर्टी थ्री को राइट साइड में लिख दो फिर 33 plus 30 हो गया 63, 63 plus 90 हो गया 153, 153 plus 80 हो गया 233, 233 plus 17 gives you 250. That's how you calculate cumulative frequency and चार steps करने बोले थे right? So the next step is to find summation fi. Summation of frequency इन सब को add करके 250 आना चाहिए. So this till here y'all should have been done. Okay? So uh, summation fi आ गया हमें. Next is next steps are 
यू विल फाइंड एन कैपिटल एन जो कि तुम लोग का टू हो जाएगा समेशन एफ को ही हम लोग कैपिटल एन बोलते हैं राइट सो यू विल फाइंड कैपिटल एन टू देन यू विल फाइंड एन बाई टू एंड देन यू विल मार्क एफ सी एफ मीडियम क्लास इन योर टेबल एंड देन यू विल फाइंड कैपिटल एल विच इज लोअर क्लास लिमिट ऑफ मीडियम क्लास एंड एच विच इज हाइट ऑफ मीडियम क्लास ओके तो इन सारे स्टेप्स को तुम्हें अभी करना है टू रिपीट वॉट ऑल योर वॉट ऑल योर गोइंग टू डू तुम लोग एन ढूंढोगे देन यू विल फाइंड एन डिवाइडेड बाई टू देन यू विल मार्क सी एफ एफ एंड मीडियम क्लास इन द टेबल एंड फाइनली यू विल फाइंड कैपिटल एल which is uh, lower class limit of median class and h small h which is height of the median class okay so again i'm going to wait for 5 seconds you all will pause the video here and you all will do all these steps which i have just told you and then we will check the answers okay okay i hope you pause the video and have done all the steps that i asked you to do okay now let us check the answers so n hame mil gaya tha 250 राइट सो टू फिफ्टी अगर एन में लिया देन वॉट विल बी एन बाई टू टू फिफ्टी डिवाइड बाई टू विच इज वन ट्वेंटी फाइव अभी नेक्स्ट स्टेप काफी इंपॉर्टेंट है जस्ट चेक ये नेक्स्ट स्टेप तुम लोगों ने करेक्टली किया है कि नहीं क्या बोला था मैंने यू कीप एन बाई टू इन योर माइंड वन ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड चेक द क्यूमुलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी वाला कॉलम ओके एंड उससे बड़ा है या छोटा है ये चेक करना है सो थर्टी थ्री स्मॉलर देन वन ट्वेंटी फाइव आई मूव अड सिक्सटी थ्री स्मॉलर देन वन ट्वेंटी फाइव आई मूव अड 153 is bigger than 125. Okay, 153 is larger than 125. So, यानी उसके left side वाला frequency, उसके left side वाला median class और उसके ऊपर वाला CF. तो F median class and CF I have found out. Next step is what? Um, find L and capital L and small h. So, how will you find L capital L? So, you know that your median class is 150 to 200, right? So, median class का lower class limit is your L. So median class का lowest class limit क्या है 150. So L is 150, F you know is 90, CF you know is 63. दोनों यहाँ पे लिख दिया. H, H क्या है? Median class को subtract कर दो. So 200 minus 150, 200 minus 150 is 50. Okay, so you know everything now. What is the next step? Use the formula, substitute the values and calculate the answer. Okay, so what you are going to do next is, you will use the formula of median. उसमें substitute करोगे correctly and you will calculate the final answer. Okay? I am going to wait for five seconds for you all to do that. Okay, I hope you pause the video and have calculated the calculated the answer. Okay, let us see the uh, calculations now. So this was the formula of median. You have to by heart this formula. Okay, then you substitute. L के जगह पे 150 लिखा है because here you can see L is equal to 150. N by 2 के जगह पे 125, which I have written here. CF is 63, which I have written here. F is 90, which has come here. H is 50. Okay, so on calculating you get 184.4. We 180.4 आया, right? ये क्या है? Number of mangoes है. So number of mangoes हो सकते हैं क्या? 180.184.4, 0.4, 0.2.5 mangoes नहीं हो सकते. या तो 80, 184 mangoes हो सकते हैं, या तो 185 mangoes हो सकते हैं, right? So हम लोग ने इसको 184 ले लिया ओके okay, 0.4 को हम लोग इग्नोर कर रहे हैं क्योंकि मैंगोज विल ऑलवेज बी अ होल नंबर सो वी आर राइट वी आर राइटिंग 184.4 एज 184 ओके एंड देन योर फाइनल आंसर फाइनल आंसर इज द मीडियन ऑफ द गिवन डेटा इज 184 एटी फोर मैंगोज ओके ये नंबर ऑफ मैंगोज था तो नंबर ऑफ द मीडियन नंबर ऑफ मैंगोज विल बी वन एटी फोर ओके सो जस्ट चेक योर आंसर चेक इधर वेदर यू हैव मार्क एवरी थिंग करेक्टली चेक वेदर योर कैलकुलेशन आर करेक्ट फॉर्मुलाज आर करेक्ट सो ऑन एंड सो फॉर Okay, so first sum I completely thought y'all, y'all were just paying attention. Second sum, uh, we have solved it together, right? I have told you which which steps to do. You guys have solved it, and then we have checked and discussed the answers. Now, to end this learning session, uh, I want y'all to do this by yourself. Question number four. Question number four, please do this as your practice question. Okay. Um, here, the number of bulbs is. So the production of electric bulbs in different factories is shown in the following table. Find the median of the productions. Okay, so ये number of bulbs है और ये number of factories है. तो 12 factories 30 से 40 हजार bulbs के बीच में बना रहे हैं. Okay, this is thousands. ये 30 to 40 thousand है. So 30 thousand ये 40 thousand है. So 12 factories are making between 30 to 40 thousand bulbs. 35 factories are making between 40 to 50 bulbs. 20 factories are making between 50 thousand to 60 thousand bulbs. So on and so forth. Okay. So now we have to find the median. 
you have to just follow all those steps which i have just taught you okay that's it for today uh, just check have you achieved today's learning objective if i give you one data a set of data will you be able to find the median of that data you have to answer that for yourself aur tum logo ko pata chal jayega agar tum log ye practice question solve kar loge if you solve this practice question correctly then you will get the answer uh, answer for that okay and third sum we have not done i know that we will do the third sum in the uh, upcoming learning sessions okay so just check whether you have accomplished today's learning objective or not that's it for this learning session i hope you enjoyed i mean agar tum log man la ki steps ko follow karoge to kafi mazedar bhi hai problems it's it's really fun to solve these problems step by step so it can also be a little fun if you if you understand the steps very well um i hope you had fun i hope you understood and you all can solve sums based on median uh we'll see each other in the next learning session till then see you guys bye peace